Good morning. I thought it important to speak directly to the people of Bermuda today. I am joined by my colleague, the Minister for Labor, the Honorable Jason Hayward, as well as ministerial and parliamentary colleagues. Over the past few days, there has been an attempt to portray the government's position on the labor legislation. It is not. Safeguarding the rights of working men and women is our common cause. And in this, we have worked for decades with our partners in labor, Bermuda's unions. Today's events show that the historic relationship is strained not because but because we disagree on a single provision in the law this is not or should be personal unfortunately this part the unprecedented resolution of the BRU's general counsel was targeted at the Premier and the Minister of Labor, and it was simply wrong. ...related to this area, but I wish to make it clear that his leadership on this issue has been defined by creating a framework of union in Bermuda. As I indicated in my comments last evening, this is an extremely disappointing and challenging time. My colleagues and I are working hard desperately needs and wants. The principle on which we stand is the right one. We will not commit to any of Bermuda's workers. And so I must say again, the law will not be amended, and we will stand firm in our position. Thank you. Good morning to members of the media. Began with ensuring we put laws in place to support the rights of workers. This action to create maximum disruption in order to force compliance from the government is unlawful and designed to negatively impact the people of Bermuda. aimed at stripping away rights from workers. The government acknowledges that there is a fear from unions that some employers will try to manipulate the process of cancellation of certification for their benefit. The government and will nullify the process if an employer has had any involvement. The government will not be amending the law as it pertains to who gets to participate in a government-administered decertification ballot. The government's position has been they should have the right to vote in a ballot whether they are a union member or not. It bears repeating that only current members of the union or former members of the union can compromise com comprise the 35% of the workforce that can actually initiate a decision. Contrary to what has been articulated,
the government has met with the BIU on several occasions since the legislation was debated and approved by the legislature in the House of Assembly in December. Up until the BIU collaboration or compromise in the BIU's position. As a former leader of a trade union, I have and will always continue to support the principles of unionism. This position is clearly demonstrated by the work that has been done by the Ministry of Labor since I assumed office as minister. Any notion that the government no longer supports labor or the workers of this country lacks patience needs to shift. A concerted effort is required to change the current culture of operating. It will not be easy. However, a shift in paradigm is critical for us to get the country back on a position as Minister of Labor, I have no intention to resign. There is plenty of work to be done, and I am committed to working on behalf of the people of Bermuda. I think all those in the public who have sent me messages of support and work this morning's press briefing.